Hello Zebraherd and welcome back to the Crash Bandicoot Insane Trilogy playing through the original Crash Bandicoot. Now if you guys joined me in the previous episode you would know that we had finished the game normally. We still have a lot more to do. We're going to be starting with what we almost ended the episode off with which was the lab. We need to beat this level without dying once. But then we will have almost every gem. That will be the last gem or the second to last gem out of six. Then we'll be going through some of the islands we've already gone through, and of course, collect some more gems. That's gonna be the whole point of the episode. Let's get started. When I read the uh, loading screen, of course it says loading, and it'll say the level under it, and I thought it said loading the dab. I just, that was so weird. What if Crash Bandicoot started the dab, you know? I mean, I think if any video game character would have to start a ridiculous, like, move, like a dab, it would probably be Crash Bandicoot. I have to assume so, you know? Okay, we're gonna be careful for this one. So I'm hopefully gonna be able to just, you know, play this decently since I'm nice and freshly minded. When I was trying to, of course, play this level without dying before, I was sort of losing my mind because I had already played the game for three hours and I was just like, I need to take a break. And my voice was so tired, so I'm sorry if my voice was a, ho a little hoarse towards the end of it. Okay, I remember this as well. So we need to be careful. Okay, I did it. Nice, because we need to make sure not to hit that one. And of course, I'm gonna record myself doing this first part, and if we fail, then I'll go ahead and try to do it in the background, and you know, I'll cut to when I finish it. Uh, okay, I messed that up. I, I, can't, I miscounted. <laughs> oh, well there goes Aku Aku, which I probably really needed. Great. See, that wasn't so bad. It really isn't that hard of a, you know, one, but it's just if you just, slip up right there and, and you know hit that bounce block when you're not supposed to. That's usually where I mess up, and then I, of course, don't have an Aku Aku anymore. But I haven't technically died yet. Oh, this level is so tough. Especially the second half of it is just ridiculous. I gotta wait. Because I didn't think I hit both of them there, and then I stuttered, and you just, you don't want to stutter on this level. Okay, sir, excuse me. Uh, boom, boom. Ah, oh, I was a little too soon. Gosh darn it. Well, there we go, we've already messed up. Go, 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 jump! Okay, I've made it so far. I've made it so far. Okay. Oh, did I do it? I did it. Wait, that was just a normal gem. Then why did, <laughs> why did I have to do that one without dying? Oh, this game is so mean. <laughs> ba -da -ba. Uh. I'm out of breath. <laughs> oh my gosh. So many attempts. Okay, so that says that was the yellow gem. So I guess it was a gem, but it doesn't look like one. Because if I compare that to like this, I guess yeah, now you can see the difference, but when you, you don't remember it. By the way, now we can go all the way back. We're gonna start all the way back to the first island now, because everything that we haven't done from this point is because of the fact that there was another gem we needed. So hopefully at this point we can do everything properly. I might like give a quick Google search to find out like, oh, I can't do this level because I don't have that one color gem. Like, actually, maybe I should go ahead and get the purple gem first. Let's get the purple gem first, just so I can get that out of the way, and then we'll move on to the rest of the clear gems we need. So the purple gem, this is Island 2 still. Uh, should be way over here. It is this one. Lights down. I'm gonna save really quick, and then we're gonna give that one a shot. Okay, so this is the one. I, I think I have to not die, but there, yeah, yeah, yeah. And then there's also two boxes worth of a secret gem area, which is ridiculous. But we should be able to do that. I'm feeling pretty confident. You know, we've done this level before. I just gotta make sure my jumps don't get too messed up. But I think this was the easier out of the two I can't see where I'm going, somebody help me levels. Yep, that's what they're called. Oh yeah, I remember these. <laughs> All too well. These moving platforms, which you just sort of have to hope will be there when you're ready for them. All right, so that's gonna go away, and then it's gonna start coming back, and then I'm gonna jump for it, and I'm not gonna miss, because I'm zebra, and I'm cool, but I'm not, so I'm just zebra. That, that I can guarantee. Me being cool, not so much. There we go. I gotta be careful because of those dudes because I do not want to be hit by them. I do not want to be hit by them. I'll repeat it again. There we go. Because if I can't see, then I'm probably gonna fall. And if I fall, then my life is gone. And I will have to do the whole thing again. 
and then I'll be at risk of getting hit again, which I don't like. So going past that, going past this, here is that gem. What is this? Ooh, whoa, hey, Cortex, bye Cortex. Ooh, it's like a special area that we can leave through. This is really cool. Let me pick up that gem. And we like walk, oh, I can't walk around. That would have been so cool. What a view. You can't say anything, but that's just still a really cool concept. That's a really cool secret exit right there. Perfect. Let's see. That's gonna be a purple gem. So now we have every single color gem in the game, every key. Now we're just gonna get the rest of the clear gems 92% complete. Awesome stuff. So now we're all the way back on the first island and we can get started with all the clear gems we need like jungle rollers. Let's get started. Okay, so I think one thing is that I actually missed the Embryo token in this one. And I know where it is now because I remembered while editing. So I'll keep that in mind, there's 43 boxes. Man, it's like a trip down memory lane, I like it. And of course, if things get boring, you know, me playing through the same level again, then of course, one thing, stay tuned till next episode, episode five, where we're gonna have a lot of awesome stuff because we're starting my favorite Crash Bandicoot game, Crash Bandicoot 2 but I'll start cutting things out if it seems like it's getting too repetitive. But you know, it gives me the chance to talk about more stuff. You know, the fact that you guys are so heavily supporting this series blows me away. It's getting a couple thousand views every episode. And that's all a zebra can ask for, right? You know, just some awesome support for some from the awesome zebra herd. So thank you guys so much. I really appreciate it. Oh yeah, that's right, we can do this now. Now I talked about it in the first episode. I only got to do this in the demo of the game when I was a kid. There we go. 99 lives up there. So that was, there were a couple boxes up there, I think. It's just we immediately broke them when we got up there. So worth doing for sure. One, one thing that's been super exciting is, of course, everybody who's played Crash as a kid has been having a grand old time recently. But what's even cooler is seeing a huge group of people playing Crash Bandicoot for the first time. And it's just, it's super exciting because it's like, hey, now I have more people to share my love for Crash with, you know, if they enjoy the HD Remastered. And most people have been. It's been getting positive reviews for the most part. So there we go, here's a Tana thing. But oh my gosh, I've been talking about this to Michaela, and it's just, I have this huge temptation right now because they're actually making, in celebration of this releasing, a Crash Bandicoot figure that's available for pre-order right now, and it's like 90 bucks, and I'm like, don't do it. You really want it, but you shouldn't spend 90 bucks. It's like, I have $90. It's not like I'm like eating like rice and beans every day to make make do. It's not like I'm, you know, a starving zebra right now. I, I can afford the figure, but it's like, I could have spent that. Wow, look at that, we did it. Oh, this wasn't the level with the embryo tokens. <laughs> I guess I was getting it mixed up with something else. But there we go, our first level done through our rerun through the game. 19 gems now, awesome, awesome stuff. But yeah, I, I, I can afford it, but I shouldn't buy it. And I guess I'll get into why next level. All right, so this level is, what is this level called? They don't tell you on here, do they, huh? They don't tell you on here. I already forget, the Great Gate, that's what it's called. So yeah, I remember this one at the very, very end has a gem. But it's like, yeah, I could cough up the $90 and buy that crash figure. But at the same time, I'm like, man, I could spend that $90 on, you know, saving up for a new capture card, make sure I can finally make this transition to 60 FPS because the 60 FPS capture card I, w I bought, you know, at the end of 2015, was not that great and ended up not working very well, so I still haven't made the transition properly over to 60 FPS. You know, I could save it for a new computer in 2018. It's like, why should I buy a figure when I could go ahead and save that money to improve the videos? Oh, that was dumb of me. Sort of messed it up, but hey, we got another one. It could have been a Super Aku Aku, but I don't really need that. Oh, oh boy. Yeah. <laughs> All right, these levels should be a breeze for me in the long run, though, because, gosh darn, we have survived so much more difficult, even just in the beginning of this episode. Oh my gosh, it is much easier, though. We were dying a whole lot more in that first episode of Crash Bandicoot on these levels. But now it's like, we can breeze through them pretty quickly, which is, oh, that is so reinvigorating. And once again, that's gonna make, hopefully, Crash 2 and 3 much easier, like a much easier pill to swallow. Oh, that was a bit of a mistake, but I survived. So even though we've done this in the past, we gotta go through and get all the boxes which I don't really mind too much. I still, I'm, I'm enjoying myself, and I figure if I'm having fun, then it's probably still worth watching. Of course, you can let me know and harass me in the comments section or something, and I'll keep that in mind. There we go. Don't even need the extra one up, so I'm not sweating it. The thing I'm sweating is that I'm about to fall off. I just don't want to waste the Aku Akus. Bada boom. There we go. 
Because, yeah, I definitely have over 90. I, I have 99 lives. I can't have over. It'd be nice if you could. Oh, gosh. Like, how many lives would I have if I could get over 99 lives? I'd probably be closer to 200 at this point because we've picked up a lot of lives since then. So, eight more boxes on this side. What can we find? Oh, my. It's another set of things to climb up. Great, great. I love these. I've never seen this. So, this is a first for me. What is gonna be around here? So, there's one of the eight boxes right there. Then, get up here. So, I gotta keep my eyes peeled. Oh, oh boy. Come on. Yeah. Uh, monkey, get out of here. Oh, there's another one of these. Hmm. Can I get up here on my own? I can't. So what is on here? Is it is it just a one up? Okay. I was worried that I might have been missing out on a box. Uh, ooh, ooh. Okay. We're doing all right. I'm at 33 out of 38. Oh, this thing's taking its time. Uh, ha! So this is pretty difficult. It's not impossible. And I need the yellow gem for this one, right? Which is what we just got. So you can really tell the necessity of getting all the colored gems. So there is a bunch of fruit over here. What I'm worried about is that there's gonna be a box back here. So I'm gonna turn around and make sure I can get that bouncy bounce. Don't, don't worry about that. Up, oh, see, there was a box back here. That's what I was worried about. And there's a few extra lives. So it looks like that's it. I need to go all the way back. We need to do it the hard way, which is the worst part. Unless I can find a way to jump this, which I don't think I can. And the whole point of doing this extra little bit, of course, is to, you know, get all the crates. If not, then you know, we would have already completed the level normally. And yeah, there's no way I can get back up there. Which is a bummer. Oh, get out of here, dude. You didn't even see me coming. I gotta deal with the monkey. There we go. All right, so this is real scary, but we did it. Now, I don't know what's heading for me this way. I sort of had a bit of a chance to uh, scout out what we had to deal with, but it was sort of scaring me, so I decided to uh, ignore it. You know, ignorance is bliss and all that kind of stuff. So there we go, we made it. So this is where we would have been if we just took the shortcut. This thing takes its time. So it's like, hmm, do I wanna go? I don't know. Big jump. Yep, yep, yeah. All right, so we got this right here. It's gonna flame up, and we're gonna go, boom. Nice stuff. So we're doing pretty good. We are doing pretty good. It's so crazy how much more level there is than what was included though. Like that's actually blowing me away quite a lot. So I need to, once again, these ones can have a lot of movement so I gotta pay attention to where there might be an extra box or two. So that was 30 out of 38. Okay, we did it. Bada boom. Yeah, we did it. Another gem for us. Excellent stuff, what a large level. Like that was so much more than you thought. That's crazy. So there we go, gem number 20. Okie doke. Okay, there we go, easy Aku Aku to start things off. This is upstream, and we are making our way through this super duper quick. It's a lot of fun when you can just, like, oh man, it's, it's actually pretty rewarding. Being good enough to play through these levels without too much of an issue, it just it feels really nice. Because it's like, oh yeah. I don't have to worry about it, because I'm good at the game now. <laughs> now, disclaimer, I'm still not that great at the game, but it's just fun to be able to handle these easier levels as if they're actually easy, what do you know? I forgot to hop on the TNT, I need to go back. Uh, these guys are really creeping. I swear that in the original game, like, okay, there's two types of these little plants. The red one, which when you stand in it, that's when it triggers, and then there's a purplish one, and that one triggers on its own. I swear that the colors were flipped in the original Crash Bandicoot on the PlayStation 1, that the purple one was the one that only activated when you were standing in it, and the red one was the one that did whatever it wanted. But I think that might be just uh, selective memory, which I don't know why I'd have that, but I think I do for this situation. What is going on here? Where am I? Oh, was that the one box I was missing? Was that really it? Huh, I thought that maybe like, the last one in the succession would maybe like bring me somewhere or something. Interesting. Well, I don't have to not die in any of these levels, which is good. So I just need to worry about getting to the end now, which probably shouldn't be that big of a deal. Yeah, there's gonna be 22 crates, so I guess we really were just missing one. Which is pretty weird. You'd think it'd be a little bit more than that, but hey. I don't care what it is or isn't, I just wanna get it done. So, there we go. 
That is 34, so we just gotta get two more. Which we should be able to handle, right? Unless there was like more there that I was missing, but I just, I don't think there was, because I had super aku, 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 uka. <laughs> and I didn't seem to have too much of an issue. Oh, there is more. Okay. That's a little wild. That was also an awkward jump. I almost jumped right into the ending area. Ooh. Uh, almost a little too early there. That would have been awful. I don't think there's a box up here. There's not. Okay. Well, those are my last two. I just gotta make it to the end of wherever this is. I mean, I wonder if I could technically just turn around. I mean, I suppose I could, but I just don't see if there's a very big point at that. But there you go. Upstream's gem is now completed. What is it gonna bring us at? Like 95%? We only got five more percent to go. Ba da ba. I think, yeah, there's 26 gems, five more percent. Seems right to me. Okay, so now we're at Rolling Stones. This is the one with the embryo level. I think, it has to be. So that's what I gotta focus on. There's our first Tana token. Ooh, we'll get the Ugrba. The thing I gotta worry about is that there is a part in this level where you know you have like sort of like a batch in TNT, and you just gotta make sure that you don't explode that batch of TNT before you break a specific box in that that has one of the embryo tokens. Like, you know, that just happened there. Here, so I'm gonna wait for this to run out before we do anything. Just like that. Then we're gonna land right here. Nice. So that's what I wanted, that's what I needed. We now have two out of the three. And the last one shouldn't be too bad. I don't think it's anywhere too sneaky. Come on. That was the first time getting hit in a while though, so I can't complain too much. There's our second Tana. Yep, second Tana, second Brio. And I don't think there's any gem. We know that there is a gem in this level. What am I talking about? There is indeed a gem because if not, I would have done all this already. So we can break this one, right? Or is there anything above this? There's not. Good to check, good to check. But yeah, like I was saying before, I'm hoping that you know my increased Bandicoot skills will transfer over to the Crash 2 and Crash 3. I think that overall Crash 1 is the most difficult game, but there are definitely some strides of difficulty in Crash 2 and Crash 3 that I will have to look out for, but I think the general playing through the game won't be as much of a struggle as this one was at times. Like, oh my gosh. There are definitely aren't as many levels where it seems like you have to play through and not die, which is just the worst part, you know? <laughs> I know that there are some gems in Crash 2 that are like, yeah, play through and don't die, but I know there's also some special gems that are like, play through and don't break any boxes. So it's like, it's not the same thing over and over again, which will be nice if, you know, if it changed, but here we go, here's a blue gem one. We gotta go down here, which is nice and cool. There are six extra boxes to find and a creepy Cortex mug. Why did he build that, you know? Like, why did he take the time out of this and go, okay, build a cave put my face in it, and then leave and never speak of it again. You will never find those seven Wampa Fruits. Ha ha ha, oh no! No, I knocked it away! Whoa! I didn't know you could knock them away, that's the first time ever doing that. All right, well, I guess I could just redo it. It's not the biggest deal in the world. I've never knocked one of those away before, but it does make sense that you can. I'm not like complaining, I'm just like surprised. All right, hello Cortex again. Looking angry as usual. There we go. We're doing good. No, I thought there was gonna be a little bit of land after that. Come on. What is wrong with me? All right, pick that up. Do not knock it away. And go into this embryo stage. I don't think we've I've ever tried this one. Because of course. Uh we missed it the first time. Oh geez. You know what? I gotta get out of here. <laughs> I was just realizing that TNT's gonna blow. So there we go, that should make up for any lives I missed out on. So all this, like, I do not even need to worry about it, which is pretty refreshing. Cause it'll all explode itself. Hello, goodbye. I just love how he explodes himself. Like how drastic can you be, dude? Makes me think, in the background you can see, of course, like a bunch of railroads. And it makes me wish that there was a Donkey Kong Country style railroad level. But at the same time, maybe that should stay in Donkey Kong Country. And here we go, last two boxes, another gem for us, which means we're at 96% done now. Look at all those tokens. It would be cool if there was a level that had Embryo, Tana, and Cortex tokens. I mean, maybe that'd be a little too much. Maybe I should just be happy we don't have too many difficult things like that. All right, now time for the last level of the first island, Native Fortress. I wanna burn through this pretty quick, hopefully, because this is a longer level. Ooh, I gotta get you. There we go, the Aku Aku's gonna help with that idea. I was hoping that you would hit this guy, but it's whatever. 
Oh, here's the monkey. You start dancing, Mr. Monkey. The monkey is pretty well animated, which is pretty weird. A lot of the things in this game have some really nice animation. Okay, that's something I was a little worried about is that this game would look nice but have weird animation. Because that's something I see a lot of games have an issue with. Especially like, I guess up and coming 3D indie games is that they'll have like a really nice looking game, great color palette, amazing lighting, but the animation will be really awkward and choppy. And honestly, that can kill it. I'd rather have a worse looking game with better, more fluid animations than vice versa because animations can really define what a character looks and feels like for almost anything. Like the entire atmosphere of the game can depend on the animation style. I'm gonna wait for this. I think I can jump over it. I can. Now we just gotta take care of another monkey. Yeah. But yeah, at this point, I think the Vicarious Visions have definitely proven themselves for what they can do with an HD remaster. And it's like, this is what HD remasters should be, you know? At the end of the day, not only is it making what was old feel new again, it just, it totally revitalizes it with completely new visuals. You know, of course, sometimes an HD remastered is just an uprising. And I don't think that's worth complaining about. Like, some people seem to be totally against that. I don't mind it. I don't think that's ever an issue, because it's like some games, they don't really need it. Like this game, I feel like Crash Bandicoot definitely could use it, and they used it well. But something like, okay, let me think of an example. Super Mario Sunshine, right? That game looks beautiful as it is, and it's not incredibly old, it's a GameCube era game. I don't think it needs a full HD remastered as much as it needs to be up res, maybe an improved lighting system, and then boom, re-release re it on the Switch. That's like where, I'm, where I think, there are some needs for HD remastering, and then there's some that aren't. So I don't think it's really good or bad. I think it's just, it's a game by game thing. But I'm glad that we're getting to a point where we can re-enjoy old games in different lights. It's just our technology has improved so much since Crash 1 came out that it's definitely worth doing. And I'm doing pretty decent through this level so far. But I feel like the hard part, we haven't gotten to it yet. Because this is where the levels really start to ramp up in difficulty. Like this one is the one that, I remember getting stuck on for a decent chunk of time. There wasn't a free Aku Aku there that, I don't think I'll need, so I'll ignore for now. And if worst case scenario, I guess I could technically hop back up there. So I don't think there's any crates waiting for me here. They were pretty nice about this part. But this is another one where there will be a gem at the end of the level that I have to hop on. So I'll try to be aware of that. So this is gonna f fire up. There we go. Nice. So I'm just trying to focus on this. Got another checkpoint, which is nice and good. I'm glad there isn't a single, well no, there might be. I can't remember anymore. But I don't think there's, yeah, I don't, actually no, I don't think there is a single level on the first island where I have to play through it without dying. That's refreshing. I mean, now I got the clear gems anyways. I mean, I, mean, I got the non-clear gems, I got all the colored ones, so I don't have to worry about it either which way. Oh, there it is. So, I seem to wait for that to fire up. And then I jump it, and then I just land on this baby. See ya, we're going this way. Whoa, what is this? Man, I've never seen this before. Like, I've never even seen like gameplay of this before. Wow, all you can see are the islands in the background. That's so scary. Whoa, look at us, we're on the clouds. Holy cow, this is so cool. I've never ever seen this before. Oh my gosh. This is the coolest thing. I'm like in love right now. And then you get another one. This is a different color gem, right? I think so. Well, we get some time to enjoy some bouncing. This is so cool, I'm nerding out right now. Oh my gosh. How have I never seen this? I don't know. I love the, the islands in the background though. That's like one of the coolest things about this game. I've mentioned it several times now, but it's just something that this game has that the other games don't, that I sort of wish they did. I just love that sense of adventure, you know? Well, now we're going down here. All the way back down. That was so rad. I'm in love with that. That was by far the coolest place a gem has taken us so far. I don't think anything's gonna top that. Like, not even the secret ending. And the secret ending is pretty cool. So I'm not gonna say the secret ending's bad. I'm not trying to suppose that at all. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Okay, we made it. We're in the clear for now. I don't think there's really anything we can die from at this point. But we can fall and get annoyed, which is something to be wary of. So we still need to get a few boxes though. I really hope I didn't miss anything because that would just take so much time to get back to. Ooh, okay, no, this has to be the rest of it. And then there's gonna be one more. Oh, dang it, I knew that was gonna happen. There we go, we did it. Another gem for us. 
Awesome, awesome stuff. Wow, we we are doing great. So there is Island 1 100% complete. Of course, when I say that, I am borrowing all the time trials because I'm not gonna be playing through the game three times in a row, basically. So we'll probably do that later. Okie doke, so time for Island 2. What are we gonna start with? We've got Up the Creek done, Ripperusa boss fight, The Lost City, Temple Ruins, Road to Nowhere. Oh boy, this is gonna be fun. Let's get started with this one. Okay, here we go. This is gonna be intense, but I think we'll be fine. Man, I cannot wait to get the Crash 2 next episode. This game and all the games are just such a blast, but Crash 2, I wanna be oogling about it in that series. You'll see then, so I don't wanna go on about it too much because I don't wanna sound like that broken record. Speaking of records, I died. <laughs> now all you know is about what I've recorded. That's that's it, that's not what I wanted to say. Um, I, I don't, I keep on worrying about dying, like, oh, do I have to restart the level? I don't. That's just naturally what's within my brain right now. But speaking of record, I really hope they release some kind of soundtrack for this game. Either that be on CD, or a vinyl record for whatever reason. I really, really hope. Whoa! Uh, it'll, if they release the soundtrack in some way I could buy, I would definitely go, whoa! I'm so excited, I'll buy that! Uh, okay, we're fine, we're fine. I'm not doing so great so far. Like, usually I do a bit better, and I feel like I did better the first time I went through this level. Ooh. Ah. Uh, uh, nice. Oh, so we're already at the gem. I feel like that went quicker than I expected. This level felt so much longer when I first did it. This is cool. Whoa, look at this, it's like a totally different level now. What do I do here? Wait, what? Oh, maybe if, if I hit this one first? This is so cool looking. So what is that gonna do? Oh, here we go. Oh no. <laughs> sort of missed it, I thought I could hop on top of that. All right, chance number two though, not sweating it. I'm gonna die. 98 times, so I'm definitely not worried. Let's go, oh, ooh. So I gotta go all the way to the right here, and then hit that, wait over here. This is so weird. I love it, but it's just odd. Get that, but I'm missing something. Oh, oh, okay. So now we get a couple extra lives. I didn't notice that, that that one in the center was something. And then I can just go ahead. Oh, I didn't have to do that. They gave you an extra one right at the last second. I'm so silly. But that hopefully is everything. 20 to get out of 42. I just gotta go back here and hope that that's not, there's not anything else. I love it because like that aesthetic, that kind of up in the sky kind of temple ruins, like it's, Architect from the Temple Ruins, but it's really high up in the sky, so it has a different coloration than we're used to seeing. So that's really cool when we get to see parts of the game that, like, aesthetically we haven't seen before, that's like really exciting to me. Do I have to do all that again? I do not? Well, I didn't mean to do that. That was silly of me. <laughs> oh, oh, come on now. But yeah, that's really cool, because we just get to experience new stuff, and I'm all, I'm all for that. That's what's really exciting to me. So we're doing okay. I definitely played through this level better the first time I did, but sometimes first time is the charm. So what's else been going on? I know I've been talking purely about Crash Bandicoot for the most part. Some other exciting stuff that's going on is that I'm trying to look into getting vocal lessons. That's gonna be probably something like I look into now, but I don't do for like a year or two, just because I know vocal lessons are like super expensive. But obviously, I, I'm no rock star singer, but I do of course talk all day, and that's, itself is a very wearing thing. Of course, the voice is an instrument, it's also a muscle, and it can get worn down if you don't know how to use it correctly, you could damage it. And that goes for all kinds of beings, zebras included. So I wanna make sure that I'm using my voice correctly and I'm not you know, damaging myself in a way that in a couple years from now, maybe my commentary will sound worse because my voice is too damaged. Of course, I don't think I do anything too damaging as it is, I mean, I don't live dangerously by any means, I don't do anything that typically damages your voice, like, of course, smoking, which, oh no. Oh no, okay, I'm fine. Of course, m take my advice, my zebra advice, I'm a wise zebra. Don't smoke, kids. Uh. Oh no, it's hard to tell. <laughs> okay, I'm fine though, I'm fine. I can, I can get back there. So it's so hard to tell. There's one platform there. 
and then we just gotta sort of jump for it. They look so much farther away than what they are. Oh geez, what is like under us? I don't know. Just like the tips of mountains. Oh, look at this. And they give you a little extra um, exit area here so we don't have to go back, hooray. So there is another level done. That one was pretty difficult, but we survived. Awesome stuff. 24th gem, two more gems to go. And then we are done the game. Okay, so we're gonna go ahead and hop on this thing. And there you go, it's broken. Bada boom. So this is Boulder Dash, the last level in the second island we need to complete. And then I guess whatever gem we're missing is in the third island for the like the final, final gem. And that's gonna be exciting. And then we get to play the final, the second, the final level, the last actual level before Cortex. And that's also gonna be exciting. I think that there's just a gem at the end of this. Like there's just a gem at the very end of the level that we just take somewhere. I remember correctly, which I'm pretty sure, because I remember there being a boulder level where we get to the end, and like, yeah, we did it. Oh, we can't get the gem. There's something waiting here for us. So hopefully this won't be too bad. Man, this level looks so cool. I gotta say, like the running from the boulder levels probably looked the coolest out of everything in this game. And I just realized how hungry I am. I've been trying to have a light breakfast because if I don't have a light breakfast and then I record all day, I end up like hiccuping and burping, and that's just not attractive. Oh, ah, ah. Okay, we're fine, we're fine. I think I'm, 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 I'm figuring it out. There we go. As long as I get the checkpoint, and I have money on live, so I don't even, <laughs> spin that live away. I don't even need it. Be gone with you. So yeah, we'll, you know, if we're trying to get 100% in this game in all three games, then we'll probably go ahead and try to get the platinum trophy for this as well. I'm having a lot of fun with this game, if you haven't noticed. I haven't platinum the game, wow. One of my last platinum the game, I think in 2015, the last platinum I got on camera was one of the only platinums I've gotten on camera, which was Lego Jurassic World for the PlayStation 4. I did a 100% guide on that, which is, ah, oh, it caught up. But I did a 100% guide on Lego Jurassic World way back when that released on Let's Play. I was a lot worse at making videos back then though. So I don't recommend watching it, but hey, you know what? If you like Lego and you like Jurassic World, it's, it's an okay series. I mean, honestly, I don't know. It's just like, I never look back at my series that I've done like before 2016, because to be honest with you, I feel like up until 2015, like I just, I was a different person. I mean, I started Let's Play when I was 13 years old. And for anybody who's older than 13, I think you can probably agree and that you are a lot different now than what you were when you were 13. And obviously, you can say that for almost any teenage year. You know, I'm 21 now. I just turned 21 in April. Oh, here's that gem. We went by that way quicker than I thought when I just started talking about stuff. So where does this bring me? Whoa, the game frame rate is dying. That is not a recording issue. Look at this area. Why weren't there any levels that looked like this? Holy cow, this is so cool. Man, the secret gem areas are so awesome. I've been missing out for so many years. We got a purple piranha plant, which is uncommon. Look at all those like, extra lives too. This is so cool. Oh my gosh. We got a happy Cortex too. He's like, heck, <laughs> crash, we'll never find this one. And then Embryo, there's two Embryos. Maybe Embryo had a twin that we never knew about. The Crash Bandicoot missing more. Why wasn't there ever a level that looked like that? I think there was a Scrout the level that sort of kind of looked like that in the beta of the game. 99% complete, let's go. So that is almost every gem. We have one more gem left to go, yep. So let's go ahead and try to find that. I'm gonna assume it's gonna be right here, Cortex Power. I don't remember this being an easy level, so we'll give it our best shot. Okay, or I guess it's Cortex Power. <laughs> Not Cortex, the R fell off, or was about to fall off. I don't remember this level being easy, so this is gonna be a tough one to finish up with. Oh yeah, this is the one with like several different paths. This one's gonna take me a while. I might even have to look up a walkthrough for this one, because I just don't know which way to go. There is like, multiple branching pathways. I'm um, expecting this to be the one that like shoots out three, like in the level we put at the beginning of the episode, which was just so much fun. Ooh. So, let me get this extra life. But I think I wanna start by going to the left because the secret gem area was on the left. Hello, sir. Oh, I thought that was a dead end for a second. I was like, was this a mistake? Ha. Ah. Okay, so here's the secret gem, Arian. Now, I definitely wanna get this done. 
Nice. So this area is sort of ominous. But it's definitely something we need to accomplish. Whoa. What is happening here? Oh, you know what, this is TNT and normal. They almost looked, because of the green, it messes with my eyes and it makes the normal crates look yellow. And for a second there, I thought they were yellow time crates as if we were playing time trial. Wow, we didn't get a single checkpoint there either. But it made me think they were yellow crates like it was a time trial. I was like, wait, did I accidentally pick up the time trial clock? <laughs> it got me so confused. Oh. So we're doing okay so far. Oh okay, yeah, now I'm back here. Sort of forgot where I was. Oh, okay, I messed that up. I messed it up. <laughs> that could have gone really bad. So now we're here. Okay, yeah, we definitely haven't been to this part. I messed up an Aku Aku. Oh, that's weird. I don't like how weird that was. So that just leads me here now. But there's so much more left to accomplish, I'm sure. Well, then let's go back. Because I still have 30 more boxes to get. Oh my, no, I need that Aku Aku for sure. Uh, that was a lot of them. Because I still haven't gotten a single checkpoint. If I can just find one checkpoint, that'll change everything for me here. I don't know what I'm waiting for. Going backwards is not fun! Wow! Holy cow! Checkpoint! Ha ha! Okay, definitely worth it. Because there's a life there and a life here. I just feel like I'm doing this in such an awfully wrong way. Like I'm messing things. Why are there so many paths? Holy cow! I'm gonna miss something. What is up here? So much stuff. I don't wanna take this checkpoint. That means, I mean, maybe it's actually good to take the checkpoints farther back because that means I can have more of a chance to find what I'm missing. Because right now the difficulty of the level is going backwards. So if I had the checkpoints as close to the beginning of the level as possible, that's what's great. Because I think at this point, this is, I think I'm heading back to the beginning of the level, like the very, very beginning. Yes, I am. Okay, so I've gone a little bit too far back, but hey, that's a good thing. Oh, it's crazy tough and confusing. Now we're at 24 out of 42, which is more than half, more than half. So I came from the left. Didn't I? I wish they would just give you a map. Please just give me a map. Oh yeah, I remember taking this path. Uh, eh. Come on. <laughs> it's so funny. Oh, he got me? Oh, what does that one do? I'm not sure. So I might have missed even more stuff because now I hit that exclamation. Oh no. That was gonna be like mega confusing. Okay, I'm good, I'm good, I'm fine, I'm fine. Easy peasy, lemon squeeze. Ah, no, how did I fall? Oh. Okay, so I had to look up a guide of somebody playing the original game, and I just sort of wrote down what he did. Gosh darn, this is so ridiculous. So now I got it, I know what to do. So I have it written down. So we're gonna be doing step one, which is forward right because there's just so many boxes everywhere and so many different paths you can take that it's just so ridiculous. So hopefully I can pass the torch, right? This random YouTube walkthrough helped me and maybe my video can help you. So we're still going forward here. I'm gonna wait here and get this Aku Aku. Then we're going forward right. And I just sort of like wrote down my own little directions that I know I could understand. Whoop, up. And he's gonna be shooting at me like crazy. He's gonna laugh, haha, so funny. No, it's not. So now we can hit that. Those are gonna explode, so I don't really care what happens after, right? Boom. So there's 14 boxes. So now we need to U-turn left. So what I mean by that is if we go back here, U-turn. See, like that. Oh, ah, oh, darn it. Okay, so that was a dumb mistake right there. I definitely wanna go ahead and get this checkpoint and then turn back around and then we're U-turning left again because we did a little U and we're going left. So after my two U-turn lefts, I'm taking in the left gem. So the gem that we're familiar with, we need to take again, which is right here. Ah, come on, no! Uh, 
Luckily, I got that checkpoint right here. So it's not the end of the world, but I would have liked to have that Aku Aku for, you know, sections like this that aren't so fun to take on. But see, we're already back, see, not a problem. No reason to scream, Zebra, no reason to scream. Okay, maybe there is a reason to scream. All right, so they give you the Aku Aku there, which is great. And this should, this pass seems to minimize as much backtracking as possible, which is great. So this should all blow up. That should be like, what, six crates? 26, so it was actually eight crates, cool. Ooh. Oh, oh, okay, I survived, I was like, oh, come on. So after we take the left gem, we have to U-turn right. So the next chance we get, we're gonna be U-turning right. Oh, I almost messed that up big time. So yep, right here, we need to U-turn right just, I think, for like one crate? Ooh. Oh, darn it. Luckily, this is gonna be something that's much easier. I think it was just for that, right? I'm almost positive, I sure hope so. Because I remember we did that ourselves and then we ended up accidentally going all the way back to the beginning of the level. So we don't want that. Right now we're at 20 out of 42 though, which means we have plenty more to get. So now we just need to go forward and end the level though. Yes, okay. Ooh, ooh, oh, uh, 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 oh, oh, gosh! That was a nightmare. What was that? <laughs> oh my gosh, like a bull in a china shop. That's like trapezing plates on a stick. Ba -da -ba, 26 gems, what a way to go out on all of the gems, the ultimate gem path. Okay, so every gem in the game has been completed. All color gem, all 26 of them, as well of the non-color clear gems. That means we have one thing left to do in the original Crash Bandicoot, and that's to come all the way up here and play through the level, the Great Hall, one more time. So as you can see, there is a gem path right here, and I, I wanna somehow bet that I'm gonna find a way to fall. But there is a path made of simply just gems, and if you don't have every gem, you're not able to complete it. So it's truly the 100% ending, and you gotta take it super slow so you don't fall, because that would be embarrassing. But hey, look, there's a picture of Tana. I mean, did Tana put that up herself, or is Cortex really that creepy? Like, dude, no wonder you can get a girlfriend, because you're just capturing people and putting pictures up of them? Like, that's sort of weird. You know, just be cool. Have manners. Manners helps you a lot, but... Ooh. <laughs> oh boy, here we go! See ya, Cortex! We're out here! Mm -hmm. So cute. And there you go, we won! Papu sold the ruins of Castle Cortex to a resort developer. He then used the proceeds to open a big and tall shop on the island. Oh, there's like a really like an after credits. This is so cool. After intense therapy and eight years of higher education, Dr. Ru went on, a, on to write the well-received book, Th Through the Eye of Vortex, a study rap of rapid ev evolution and its consequences. Yikes, at least he's smart. Koala Kong moved to Hollywood and landed a motion picture deal of universal proportions. Currently, he is working with a speech therapist to improve his diction. <laughs> I like the universal part. Pinstripe moved to Chicago where he owns and operates a, a citywide sanitation company. He is saving money for his upcoming j jubilational? Jub what does that mean? Uh, after the disappearance of his mentor, Dr. Nicer Sprio re rediscovered his first love, tending, bar. Oh, so he became a bartender. Interesting. The world has heard nothing more of Cortex and Scratch foiled his plans, but evil geniuses are harder to squash than cockroaches. Yep, that's true. This is so cool, I love this. And there we go, there are all the, the after stories. I wish we could have gotten one on like Crash and Tana and stuff, because we don't know whatever happens to Tana, to be honest with you. But we did it! In all technicality, we have now just 100%ed Crash Bandicoot, the original one. I honestly never thought I would ever say that in my life, but look at us go, L2 to save. We are going to save right here, save. Awesome, awesome stuff.
So there we go. Now, once again, I want to reiterate, yeah, there are time trials. They were not a part of the original game, which is why we haven't done them, but I'm pretty sure you as a viewer don't want to see me play through the same game three times in a row. So the goal is, next episode, stay tuned. We're going to be tackling Crash Bandicoot 2, my favorite Crash Bandicoot game of all time. It's going to be a blast, and the plan is to 100% that game as well. Then we'll move on to Crash 3, try to 100% that one as well. And then finally, if we enjoy all that and you guys still want to see more, we will head all the way back and try to do some time trials but for now, that is going to finish it. Of course, thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. And if you watched this point of the video, make sure you comment Zebratana so I know you've watched in the video and that you are a Zebratask viewer. But also, if you enjoyed today's video and you want to see more, make sure you go ahead and click on some of the videos on your screen for more Zebratask goodness. But for now, thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.